What's up, my beautiful Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. This is the channel that you want to be at, I promise you. There's no way around it, baby. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Go ahead and hit that motherfucking like button for me. Thank you so much for all your love and support to the channel. All right? I want to thank you guys so much for purchasing a personal reading with me. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you guys so much for trusting me with your truth. Thank you for my new subscribers, old subscribers. What's up? All right, let's get into this, Pisces. Let's get into this daily reading. Y'all already know um, this is a daily reading for February. Dang, when is this reading going to be for? Is this February 8th? It's got to be February 8th. No, maybe I'm behind. Oh, goodness. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. February 8th. Yeah. So this is February 8th, 2024. So y'all already know that this reading could be a couple of days in advance or a couple of days behind. But hopefully when you hear this message, it helps and assist you in some way. All right. If you are a part of the channel membership, you will have access to all of these daily readings uh, before the public. So let's, hey, if that's something you're interested in and you feel like these readings are helpful to you, go ahead and join the Starfish membership. You can go ahead and look in the description box below. All right. So February 8th, 2024, let's go into Pisces energy. Let's go into Pisces energy. King of Pentacles, I know that's right, Pisces. I know that's right. Scared of you, honey. There could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in your energy, Leo. Um, Yes, Pisces. Get to the bag, baby. Um, The King of Pentacles, you guys are very committed to something here right now. All right, I feel like you're very devoted. You're very committed to something. Um, you guys are focused <laughs> on your security, on your financial stability. You're focused on what matters to you, what matters the most to you. Um, you're nurturing yourself. You're nurturing the things that you feel are going to be abundant for you. You guys are definitely applying a lot of pressure here in every areas of your life. All right. Yeah. You're coming up with someone who is very like, I would say dependable, responsible, and all the words for you, dedicated. Mm -hmm. All right. What's coming towards you? Ooh, the emperor in reverse. A little competition, maybe. <laughs> okay, Pisces. <laughs> there may be a Taurus coming towards you. There may be an Aries or a Libra. Wow. I don't know why I heard. Um, whoever's coming towards you, Pisces, is somebody who's trying to, I mean, I don't want to be too rude, but I feel like this is someone that's trying to, like, bully you, intimidate you. Someone's trying to intimidate you or bully you, but you're 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 fucking good at whatever it is that you do. You're secure. You're you're super straight. Like, what the hell? Someone's trying to like intimidate you, kind of bully you, you know, overpower you. But you are the king of pentacles. And this person is the emperor, but they're in the emperor in reverse. So this is someone who doesn't know how to um obviously treat people. They get a little bit of power and they let that shit go to their head. You know what I'm saying? They forgot that they also had to learn. They had to crawl before they walk. Who the hell is coming up to you like this? Someone is abusing their power with you. Yet you're being respectful. It's almost like you're in a position where... Someone's abusing their authority with you. I may be speaking to a lot of my Pisces men too, but this could also be Pisces women. But it is a lot of strong um, masculine energy coming out here. So who's who's who, who's messing with my Pisces men? Because it looks to me that you're in a position where you're right. And I feel like you're trying to hold back and be respectful, you're trying to hold back and do the right thing. You're trying to do what's commendable. You're trying to be respectful. You know what I'm saying? But someone is challenging you. Someone is trying to boss you, overrule you, overthrow you. Mm. 
What in the world? But deep down inside, the reason why they're treating you like this or coming towards you like this is because they're intimidated by you. Because you're you're A1, baby. You're great at what you do. Um, you're successful. You're stable in your own right. You have a name for yourself. You have credentials behind your name. Um, someone feels intimidated by you. And that's the truth. Because why would a boss, I'm getting chills on my legs. I'm getting chills everywhere. Why would someone that would consider themselves a boss, why would they have to use this form of tactic on you? Especially when you're coming up upright in this position. Because this person is intimidated by you. There was a boss. <clears throat> There was an older man or older woman. They may have gray hair. They may be um, they may be thinning. Their hair may be thinning, or they may have a full hair hair. But the thing is that they're they're going gray, like they're older than you, and they're feeling intimidated by you. Because guess what? They like. They may have used to have that vibrant and young energy, and they used to be like you, but they're not like you anymore. You know what I'm saying? This person could be intimidated by, <laughs> this is weird, but they could be intimidated by you, um, by your looks, by the money you make. They could feel some type of way by you receiving, like, there's a new day and time here where we get paid more money than our elders, than our ancestors. So you may be getting paid a lot more money than this person when they, like, when they were 30 years old, they weren't getting paid this much money. But you're 30 years old and you're getting paid all this money. You can't help that, though. Even if you're a woman and you're dealing with someone like this, this person is feeling threatened by you. You're a hard worker. You know, you are a hard worker. You come in with your uniform tucked in. You come in ready to go. You know your shit. You're on top of it. You don't need to ask for a lot of help. You don't need a lot of help. You're independent. You're an independent person. You do good. You do well with working alone. You're strong in what you do. Damn, somebody's intimidated by that shit because it may have took them a lot longer to learn. It didn't come easily for them. And, and you're getting paid more money than them. What the hell? How should Pisces be coming towards the situation? I feel like these are a lot of my men that are dealing with these old heads out here um, that wants to like bully you or want to make want to remind you that you are not in a position that they're in. You know what I'm saying? That you are not better or you are, you know, just because you have this position, like someone's someone's fucking with you. Someone's playing with you, baby. How should Pisces be coming towards this? A lot of my Pisces, man. Look at all this fucking masculine energy out here. Look at all this masculine energy. Who playing with my Pisces? Who playing with y'all? Stop playing. What they say? Stop playing, Raya. <laughs> or whatever. But yeah. Wow. I'm so sorry that you guys are experiencing this, especially if this is um a Pisces um that's dealing. I'm just, it's just sad. I'm sorry that you guys have to deal with this. Damn, someone is definitely, I'm telling you, um, this is an ego. This is an ego thing. Like, y'all know how y'all men be. I don't know. Women may have their little things too, but this is definitely something about the ego. Yeah, women do. Yeah, everybody has ego. So some of you guys, this may be my women too, but look, but my goodness, this is coming out masculine, y'all. But yeah, someone is definitely, um, this could be someone that you're, the sad thing about this is this could be someone that you're actually dating. If this is a man that's making you feel like this, I don't care if you're dating, if you're a man dating a man, I don't care if you're a woman dating a woman, I don't care if you're a woman dating a man. If there is any man in your life that's making you feel like this, it's because you don't need them. You don't need their help or you learn very quickly or you're very confident. Oh my gosh. Someone is really intimidated by your confidence and it's fucking with their ego. It's fucking with their pride. My gosh. Yeah, so, yes. Big boss energy, baby. Big boss. <laughs> Real territorial. <laughs> Somebody's feeling very territorial. This is a big boss energy, baby. I'm hearing that you a, you a, you a baby. You with them big dogs. You in the major leagues, Pisces. You with them big dogs and somebody feeling some type of way. 
Well, somebody's saying you don't belong here with us. Okay, if you if this is a romantic relationship, this is crazy because why would this person feel this way about you? You trigger them. Why why else would someone feel this way? You trigger them. Okay, sorry. My beautiful subscriber messaged me. We had a great phone reading. I can't I'm, I'm going to butcher this beautiful now, it's probably Rachel. She's so beautiful. But anyways, okay. Thank you so much for sending me that. I really, I love you so much. So the advice, Pisces, honey, block this person out. That's what Spirit is saying. You got to block this person out. You got to know who the fuck you are and you got to block this person out. I really feel like this person, there's a triggering. This person is trying to trigger you because you're triggering them. This person is triggered. They feel triggered. You hear me? They feel, it's almost like they feel triggered. You trigger this person. You trigger this person. And honestly, at the end of the day, Pisces, you're coming up a fucking one, baby. You're coming up confidence. You're coming up secure. You're coming up grounded. And someone's trying to, tr like, they're trying to trigger you. They're like, they're trying to, they're triggered. So they're, they're like, they're trying to project something onto you, Pisces, and absolutely fucking not standing your power. You are the empress. You are the emperor. Okay. Period. Like you really have to tune this person out. You have to block this person out. You have to tune this person out. Okay. And that's exactly what you're doing. It's this energy where don't let their low vibrational energy or something. They're trying to project something onto you. You're the king of wands. You're looking away from this bullshit because you know, deep down inside, this has nothing to do with you. Nothing. And it's funny because I just left a comment to someone saying that I apologize for the way this make you feel. But at the end of the day, um, you, you seem triggered. And I, and I said, um, that's not on me. You know what I'm saying? That's something that you need to figure out on your own because that has nothing to do with me. And so I hope this helps and assist you guys in some way. Stay confident, stay beautiful, and stay a boss.